I love Austin. It's got such a great vibe. Yeah. And this track has been one of my favorite tracks for since 2012. Mm. About something else. Everyone wants to hear from the greatest of all time about racing. Surely that's part Actually, of the job. Actually. So why are you not a Swifty while we wait for this? I didn't say I'm not a Swifty. Okay. <laughs> but to be, what is it? You have to be pretty hardcore. Yeah, I think you need to be into Taylor Swift's music and just yeah, well, relax. Yeah, I just told you that I'm yeah. yeah. taking one of her songs that I, I love. Um, but I don't know all the songs, and I listen to, I don't particularly listen to albums anymore. Really love that. We love it. Our whole family it, does. It's not a campaign and depending thing. depending on, no, God, no, wow. no. Well, it, actually, I haven't been able to watch it a lot recently because I am campaigning because, you know, also depending on where they're driving, the time of day, you know, you got to wake up like Who is your favorite a, driver? Lewis Hamilton, of course. What? I don't even know who that is. Ah, uh, he's leaving Mercedes. You don't know. You don't watch Formula One. No. Big fan of Formula One, and my favorite driver is Lewis Hamilton. Mm -hmm. say, said Camilla Harris. Just a feeling about that. Um. Yeah. Very. I mean, I was very. I was pleasantly surprised to to hear that. I didn't know she was a fan, and um. And yeah, it's just very surreal to think. <laughs> Someone in the pres pres presidential uh, campaign watches Formula One or has time to watch Formula One. I think she said she doesn't have too much time right now, but still to be a supporter is, uh, yeah. I think it just shows the breadth, the, the, the width and the depth of how far our sport has gone. And, and it's kind of crazy to think that maybe in the White House they'll be watching Grand Prix. <laughs>